Hello YouTube, Jeff Kelly here. Uh, today I was pulling some bullets and I thought that I would uh, do a video on bullet pullers. And uh, as you can see, this is the typical kinetic bullet puller that uh, you use the circular collet for and you put the bullet in here and then you put the bullet in the puller Oops. and screw the top on hard to do this one handed but my cameraman is off today and once you screw the top on then you just take it and hit it against a piece of wood or something hard as many times as it takes and the bullet falls out and the powder falls out in here and uh, then you've got your bullet to put back in the shell at the right seating depth or whatever screw up you made and that's the kinetic buller, bullet puller but there's also a bullet puller that is goes onto your single stage press that looks like that and it comes with a collet which just happens to be a 40 caliber and uh, it comes with your typical Um, shell plate here that goes into your single stage press and uh, I need to pull some 40 super bullets so let's set it up and see how it works okay here we are at the press the uh, Redding T7 single stage press and uh, here's your shell holder. This is a 45 shell holder because we're going to be pulling a bullet out of a 40 super which is a 45 case head and a uh, 40 caliber bullet uh, neck down. So uh, first of all you put your shell holder in here and put your round in there then you take the um, this part of the bullet puller and tighten it down a few turns and then tighten this lock nut and uh, nut on here washer and then you take your collet and put it up underneath here and you can see this is threaded and you take that and put it in the top and hold the bottom of the collet so you can get a few few threads in it so it doesn't fall out and then there it is so what you want to do is raise your shell up here Tighten your collet around the neck of the shell, or neck of the bullet, sorry. And lower your piston and the bullet pulls right out. And then to get the um, bullet out, you just loosen that. And it falls right out on the floor like it's... Uh, like it's supposed to and there you have your uh, nicely pulled bullet. Now the this is an RCBS bullet puller which I thought was the best one. It had the most options and um, uh, the only drawback is the cost. This thing is you know expensive 
and um, you got to buy the shell holder for every bullet you want to pull so it holds the bottom of the shell and then you've got to buy a different collet for every shell that you want to pull so if you wanted to pull nine millimeter you'd have to buy a different collet and they're about fifteen dollars and same with 45 38 40 whatever whatever your pleasure is so that's kind of how it uh, how it works but if you're gonna have to pull a lot of bullets and you want to do them cleanly and you don't want to and you want to just save the powder see I mean the powder just stays right inside the um, the brass and then you can adjust the bullet to the proper seating uh, that you want or whatever you want to do but this is a much nicer cleaner way to do it than the uh, kinetic puller but as I say if you got the money it's, uh, it's the way to go if you don't the kinetic puller is just fine because it comes with three collets and it pulls, pulls just about uh, everything so um, that's about it for the bullet puller demonstration so please subscribe and share it and uh, we'll see you on the next video thanks so much uh, one more thing, um, you really aren't supposed to use this type of bullet puller on lead bullets because it, it does make an indentation on the lead uh, or bullets with a lot of lead on top. So just that uh, as a notation. So see you next time.